Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do the very popular like Roblox masking trend. It's currently trending um on YouTube shorts, on TikTok, just like in the Roblox community. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, here is an example of what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just like how I did that and how other people are most likely doing it. For the effect, you don't need any plugins, but once you do the effect, typically people add like a velocity and for velocity, I use a plugin called Twixter. Also, before I jump into this tutorial, I just wanted to like make it known that this isn't like an After Effects tutorial. Like I'm not gonna be guiding you through the basic things of After Effects. I'm going to be assuming that you know, like how to import a clip, how to make a new composition, how to do certain things. But if you don't know how to do them, you can go check my channel because I have a video up on how to use After Effects for beginners. So you can go check that out and then come back to this video. But we're gonna start by making a new composition and importing our clip into our project timeline. All right, so once you have your clip here, just like this, whatever it may be, you're going to want to right click on your clip and press pre-compose. So when you first click it, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna want to click this option right here and make sure that this box is checked and this one is not this one it doesn't really matter that much like it's just gonna it's just gonna like open you into the new composition but you don't really want to do that you just want to stay here and then just click okay and so now it should look like this and now you're gonna want to pre-compose your clip one more time and this will all make sense in the end just trust me so now you're gonna want to open up your pre-composed clip so you're just gonna double click on it once you create this clip you're gonna want to duplicate it so you can do that by coming up to here in edit and then pressing duplicate or control d on mac it would be command d Control D or Command D is much faster in my opinion, but whatever works for you. Now you're gonna wanna have this the top clip selected and you're gonna press the Roto Brush tool. So the tool that you're looking for is a little person with a paintbrush right next to it. My mouse is currently circling it. Um, if you don't have this, I'm not exactly sure why. You probably will need to update your After Effects, but your After Effects would have to be like really, really outdated for it to not be there. So pretty much if you have After Effects, it should be there. So you're gonna wanna click it and then double click your top layer. And you should be brought here. And now here is where the actual like roto brushing is gonna happen. So what you're gonna wanna do is just completely fill in your subject with the brush tool that you have. You're just gonna wanna draw in your character just like this. It doesn't have to like completely fill in your character, just like you can do like a rough sketch of like your character and it should automatically fill it in like that. There are a few places that it will miss, like down here, it missed my character's pants and its shoes. This can be literally used for any video, like for like an actual like subject, like a real life subject, whatever you're using the Roto Brush tool for. So this isn't just limited to like a Roblox video. It would be the same thing for you if you have like an actual video, you just color in the subject. So this is what's gonna be left once we're done and the background is gonna be gone. If you wanted it reversed, you would fill in the background and leave your character out. We want to leave our character in the video for this effect that we're doing. So we're gonna do it like this. And once you have that done, you're just gonna go ahead and press play or hit spacebar on your keyboard. Okay, so once your video has completely played through, by the way, I ended up actually shortening my clip down because I realized I made my clip a little bit too long. I had it 15 seconds. So I just shortened it down to six seconds for the sake of the tutorial because it would be forever before it actually rendered the whole thing. So the next step is going to be to like watch it through and just clean up any imperfections. So like you wanna make sure that nothing messes up, that none of your character, none of your subject gets cut out because that's the last thing that you want is your character to be cut out. So as you can see here, my character's face gets cut out of the video. Video. So we're gonna have to go back and fix that. So we're gonna have to go and fix that. You wanna try to catch it like at the very first frame where it starts. 
because typically that should fix it for the rest of the frames. Sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes you'll still have to go through and fix the other frames, but eventually it will correct itself, eventually. So yeah, as you can see, it's still in a little goofy. There we go. So as you can see, it has fixed itself from that point onward and my character's face is no longer being cut out. So that's good. We, we don't want anything cut out, especially a face. Another problem that you will typically come across, not a problem, but just like something that may happen is that you may end up with some background that you don't want in there. So like here, well, there's not so much in my video, right now but you know like maybe i wanted to remove this part here i don't want it in my video too much background just hold alt on your keyboard or option if you're on mac and then just drag in the area that you want removed and then it'll be removed and it won't be part of your video anymore this part here is probably the most tedious because it's super annoying having to go frame not frame by frame but like you just have to like it just really depends on like how precise you want your roto brushing to be if you don't really care that much then this will be pretty quick but if you are like a perfectionist and you want it to be perfect this can take a bit of time depending on especially how long your clip is so if it's like a pretty long clip it it can take a minute so it just depends on your personal preference i'm actually gonna mute these because it's getting annoying this song is super annoying me personally i'm pretty fine with how this looks right now so i'm gonna go back to the composition and if you turn off this layer as you can see your character is in its own little background on its own so i'm gonna show you now how to do the big character part but you're gonna want to duplicate the clip and the bottom clip is gonna be your clip that's behind so and that's the one we're going to be working with so you're going to want to scale up your character and ooh, oh <laughs> make sure you switch your mouse back to the normal select tool and you're not still on the roto brush tool like i just was so you're going to want to scale up the back one and then you're going to want to move it behind your character where wherever you want it could be here it could be here it could be here here wherever you want it i typically put it there that's just my preference you can put it wherever you want and now we're gonna add our effects to make it to make it look good so you're gonna search cc ball action in the effects panel and you're gonna drag this onto your clip of your big person and so now this is just completely preference but you can change the ball size how far apart they are you can just like play around with this do whatever you want mess around with the settings so I don't have specific settings that I use every single time. I probably should, so it looks the same every time, but I usually just mess around with it until I like how it looks. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I like how it looks. And so now you're gonna search in the effects panel glow, and you're gonna add that to your clip as well. And you can turn this as glowy as you would want. You don't have to make it glowy either, by the way, but I like to make mine glowy and so you can actually finish it there and that can be your edit but I like to add a little extra something something to my edits I like to add a little kind of like border around my character so how I do that is I duplicate the top clip so this is gonna be this smaller character right here this one so I like to duplicate it and take the bottom clip and I scale it up usually about three I only go up about three, maybe four in size, so, but that's preference again. You move your character up like this and then add the glow effect onto that clip and I turn it up all the way, okay? And that adds like a little glow behind your character, it's a little something to your edit makes the lines not as harsh and it makes it look good at the same time and then i like to do the same thing for my big character you can't really see it as much on the big character but it's like a subtle little detail that's there so i go up three move it around a little bit and then increase the glow all the way and then boom there you have it just give it a minute to render on through <laughs> And here's 
is how it looks all finished. There's no slow-mo or anything or velocity. Like if you want that on your clip, you can totally add it. Just with like the Twixter and then whatever. I have actually a tutorial. The video that I mentioned earlier, the After Effects tutorial actually has my velocity settings in there. If you would like to go check it out for my velocity settings and how I do my velocities in my edits, you can check that out as well. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you never miss any of my videos. Let me know if this video was helpful or not to you and please comment down below more tutorials that you would like to see. I love to help you guys and I love to answer your questions on how I make my edits and everything. So just let me know like what you guys would like to see me do next for tutorials and yeah have a great rest of your day or night and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!